Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, this question was asked in the last uh, few days, and also it's regularly a question that comes back. So some of you, of course, have had uh, problems in Windows 11 getting your updates to go through. And you get stuck to a point where the updates actually just don't go through anymore because one of them gives you an error message or doesn't work. And it actually prevents the computer from updating to the other updates afterwards. And uh, yes, one of the ways that it will work, it takes a little time, but it is, uh, if you're really stuck like that, um, as security updates are important to install, and you want to make sure you got the latest updates, uh, then when you go to your Windows update, um, you just go to the advanced options in Windows 11. 24H2, and then you click on the recovery option, and here you have reset this PC. So what you do is you click the reset this PC option and follow the instructions. If you want to keep your files and apps and, and uh, your files and 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 um, in your computer, um, you just you know keep my files. If you remove everything, you can do a clean install, but the option here is that it will reinstall and will download the updates as it's installing, which means that once it's all done, you will be at the latest updates. And that should work. In general, this option works 99% of the time. So um, unless there's a very unusual issue on your PC. Now, it's a little more time-consuming and so on, and you might have to re-download the apps that uh, you're using, but when you're stuck in a way that you just can't do anything. Same goes with if you have blue screens, if you have problems, um, do this. Go and reinstall with the uh, recovery option with um, reset this PC, and you will be uh, getting the latest version, the latest updates. And there's a good chance also that anything that was causing issues will be gone. One of the biggest problems um, in upgrading from one version of Windows to the other, uh, either from Windows 10 to Windows 11, or even between versions like Windows 11, 23H2, and 24H2, is corrupt files. And when you move from one version to the other, very often when you get blue screens, freezes, or problems, it ain't that the new version is a problem. It might be because when you upgraded, you upgraded with some uh, problems. Some bugs were there, and uh, upgrade just makes it worse. So a reset this PC is a good option in order to get a PC back up and running correctly. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.